Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm on the training pitch working on some agility drills. And when it comes to agility, it's all about including a mental stimulus because in the game of football, you're always responding to different scenarios. So you might be running in one direction and you're chasing the ball and the ball might deflect, it might get intercepted and you have to change direction quickly. And although we have change of direction drills that are very beneficial for working on that leg strength, something like this, which you've seen in my previous videos, where you're planning out the course. So I know if I start at this cone, I'm sprinting out to this cone, I'm gonna get around it, and so on and so forth. This is a planned out course. So although it's very important to work on your change of direction, build up that strength in the legs, we need to also include a mental stimulus if we want to work on that true agility. So those are kind of drills that we're gonna be featuring in today's video. So for today's training drills, I'm gonna be using this, which is an interactive training cone. And what it does, it lights up in different directions and also in different colors that you have to respond to. So I've got different colored cones that correspond to the colors and the LEDs react. If you don't have access to one of these, you can just have a training partner call out the colors and it still provides that stimuli that you have to react to and it will improve your mental sharpness. But I'm gonna use this because I'm training alone today without a training partner. I'm gonna put links to this in the description box below if you wanna check it out. You can also check out my other mental reaction training video that I did previously, where I used a voice memo technique from my phone. I paired it with my headphones. I called out the commands into my phone and then it repeated them back to me and I had to respond to my own voice. But this is a great alternative if you wanna use this in your individual training session. So I'm just gonna demonstrate how it works. So all you do is turn it on at the bottom and as you'll see, the lights come on. So I'm gonna place it so the lights correspond with the colors on the outside. So we've got blue over here, yellow, we've got green, and we've got red. So for a warm-up drill, this is a great way to warm you up physically and also get you mentally sharp, ready for the rest of the session. You just stand on your toes. When the color comes on, you have to respond to it, get back to the middle, and then touch each cone that lights up. And you can do this for 20 to 30 seconds, responding to it, just getting out there as quickly as possible, do that for 20 to 30 seconds, then you can rest for 20 seconds, repeat this one three or four times. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it now. pretty challenging actually and then obviously over time as you do these drills more often you're going to be able to respond to the stimuli a lot quicker and that's the goal with these drills is to shorten the time between how you process the information and then how quickly you can react to it and that's going to translate over to the football match so if you can respond to these situations quicker and you can have that mental edge over your opponent even if they're a bit faster than you if you can process the information quicker can still get there before them. Another way you can do this first drill as well to make it even more challenging, so if we just turn it on, I can actually change the position so that the colors don't line up with the colors on the outside. So instead of working on the arrow, because before when it went yellow, I was right here, it's a lot easier to respond to that. If I have the colors not matched up, so from over here, it's yellow, but it's pointed backwards, I have to work a little bit harder mentally to respond to that stimulus. So you can, again, do this for 20 to 30 seconds if you wanna make it even more challenging on the spot. So it's green, I've got to find that green quickly. As you can see, I didn't know where it was because I'd already got used to where the cones were. So it's gonna add that extra challenge. So on the spot, green. As you can see, it's a lot more difficult. I want it to go in a different direction every time because it's pointing with the arrow. So if you really want to challenge yourself, take that mental sharpness to the next level, this is a great way to do it. But let's move into the next drill. Okay, so for the next drill, we're gonna work on some first touch and some awareness. So I'm gonna set up the LEDs on the back of the drill here. So again, corresponding with the colors. Then I'm gonna start in the middle of this grid here. I've got different gates. We've got a green gate, a red gate, a blue gate, and a yellow gate. You need a wall or a training partner to pass back and forth to. And all we're gonna do is play the ball into our partner or the wall, and as it's on its way back, I'm gonna check over my shoulder and see if it's lit up. If it's lit in one direction, that's where I've gotta take my first touch. If I turn and nothing's lit up yet, I'm just gonna play that ball back. Just keep playing that ball back, keep checking over the shoulder until it gives you a stimuli to react to. So we're gonna play it back, check over the shoulder, so it went red. So then you take your touch out to the red, play it over your shoulder, it's gone green, so take the touch forward. You're having to react off it, play it over, no lit up yet, nothing lit up, red. So take your touch to the red and so on and so forth. So really working on that awareness, checking over your shoulder, scanning your surroundings and reacting to the stimuli. So again, you can go for 20 to 30 seconds with this one and repeat three times. 
So let's give this one a go. one. It's actually a tough workout. Having to scan, recognize the color, and then make that last minute decision. Really good for your decision making, your reactions to the stimuli. Good all round training session here. Now we're going to move on into some dribbling. So let's get into it. Okay, so moving into the dribbling drill here. So we're trying to reenact like in a match when you're dribbling with the ball, you're always responding to stimuli, having to adapt, having to react. So you might be dribbling in one direction, defender might step in front, so you might have to change direction with the ball quickly. So we've got the LEDs react in the middle, we've got the color cones on the outside responding to the colors in the middle. We're gonna start at any of the cones on the outside and I want you to nudge the ball into the middle. So again, if you don't have the equipment, just get a partner to shout out the color. So we dribble into the middle. When the light comes on, it's red. So we've got to get out to the red quickly, dribble into the middle, it's green. Just got to get out to the green quickly, into the middle. Blue, just always responding to the stimuli. Yellow, and so on and so forth. You can do this one again, 20 to 30 seconds working on that dribbling, keeping your head up so you can be aware of your surroundings. So important with dribbling. So let's get into this one. So there we go guys, that's the training session complete for today. Some really good drills there to not only work on the physical side of the game, but the mental side of the game, which is so important because the picture in football is always changing. I might look over my shoulder, then receive the pass, look again, and the picture is completely different. So you need to be really quick at processing that information and responding to it. So this training is really gonna help you speed up the connection between the brain and your body. So you can absorb that information, process it, and react to it a lot quicker. It's gonna make you such a better player. So I would recommend checking out the LEDs React if you wanna work on these types of drills in your individual sessions, if you don't have a training partner. I'm gonna leave all of their stuff in the description box below. Make sure you head over there, learn more about it. There's an infinite amount of drills you can do with this. This is just a handful. You can do so many different things to work on your passing. You can actually lengthen out the drills that we did today to work on a lot more speed after you're reacting to it. There's just so many different things that you're capable of doing with this device. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.